All right, so we got the room uh, painted, nice uh, purple, purple color for my daughter. What we're going to go ahead and do now is put up some uh, wainscoting along the along the wall itself. So this should be a fun project. Uh, the goal was to get this done before um, we had moved too much in, but as we can see, we, we definitely are all she's all moved in, ready to go. So I have to bring everything back from the wall and really get to work there. But that shouldn't be too hard. We'll go and get to this work now. The goal is to do it in, in today on a Saturday and have it done so she can sleep in the room tonight. It was all nice and pretty. So here's, here it goes. That was a mug my mother-in-law made for um, my daughter and my wife for Mother's Day. Um, I feel kind of bad about it. Yeah, so lesson learned, don't have, if something's leaning up against the wall on a uh, dresser, don't pull the dresser away, otherwise it'll break. Yeah. Well, on to the project. So here's the actual uh, piece of the wainscoting. Uh, comes in an eight by four foot section. What we did at Home Depot was we got the huge eight by four foot section. We had them cut it down to the specific size that we needed uh, for this room. I think uh, we want the top of the chair rail. We want the top of the chair rail to go stop right at 32 inches and right up against uh, this right here. So, and so from there we just subtracted the uh, the number there and got a number like 29 something, and that's the height of the of the wainscoting. So, yeah. So anyway, we got a lot of uh, cuts to make in the actual wainscoting itself, but this first piece can go up uh, free, free of charge. So we'll, we'll do this. We'll do the first section, and then we can go from there. But um, it should be pretty fun. I was hoping because you see a lot of. Um, Again, a room needs power, power outlets and stuff like that. But again, this is a little bit older house, like built in like early 2000s. We have a Cat5 cable over there. I think over yonder we got a, a phone jack, and then down there we got a, a cable for for TV. Um, my daughter's not watching TV in her room, and we wouldn't have cable, so she couldn't use that even if she wanted to. But anyway, I thought, hey, let's just cover it up with the wainscoting. But it's like, well, we might sell the house someday. Yada yada yada, and we couldn't really take the wainscoting down, and then to to really show where the where that outlet is for the cable itself. I thought about maybe marking it like like keep it like a log, hey where it is in the where it is in the room, so we can just punch it punch it through the outside. But that's that seems too complicated for something that we can just leave it. And again, too, it's not going to be that noticeable on the wainscoting once it's all up and the room's decorated and stuff like that too. So we'll we'll get to it now. All right, so. Got my friend uh, Porter and Cable. I'm gonna get this thing started. Got some glue down here as well. So we'll go ahead and just um, glue to the back side of the actual wainscoting itself and then just uh, <clears throat> use some finishing nails and uh, put it in. Should be pretty fun. Let's try this again. Practice on this piece of wood before you start my recommendation.
of nails, once they're all done, I'm not too worried about that showing. And we'll paint it, of course, too, so it will just fine. Okay, so, we got most of the room done now. So we've been doing, um, as you can see here, we got some uh, space, got to put the holes in. Yeah, it's just gonna cover up, you'll never know it's there. But anyway, so to, to do that, um, it's a, it's just as easy as it sounds. I mean, you're measuring from uh, where I start from, and it's just like that. So I'm gonna say like 12 and uh, three quarters to 14 and three quarters. Yep, and then, then I had to, yeah, from the bottom, memorized 12 and, 12 and a quarter to 16. So I have to uh, keep measuring that thing. So I just measure to 12 and three quarters to about 14 and three quarters. I'll get out, we'll take that measurement. We'll go outside in the garage and uh, cut it up. Twelve and three quarters, and fourteen and three quarters, and then up from the uh, the bottom, was the uh, I should have done this first, uh, the twelve and a quarter, and the sixteen. Make sure that's good. Take the all ever important wood block. Okay, yeah. yeah, I drill some holes in this thing and use the jigsaw. Inside. A little tight fit here. In my back. Okay. Just like that. We're gonna get some glue and put it in. And make sure too that the screws that you use to take this out of the from the the base of the actual uh, box itself um, isn't gonna be um, obstructed. Up there. This looks like it might just be, but I think it'll be just fine. Also, too, make sure these line up. This, like, with how the wainscoting works, you want know, to make sure you got two uh, thick ends. You want know, to make sure it's a nice seamless transition transition as it goes on. So, we'll get some glue on this thing and uh, nail it. Uh, so I'm, not how, how, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but I don't have a nice fancy table saw or anything like that. So for uh, for long cuts, um, this is like the two foot cut or whatever, over two feet on cut on the on the actual paneling. I'm gonna make sure it's a straight line with my skill saw over yonder. So how do I do that? I I didn't come up with this. I saw it online. It's I mean it's exactly it's a very it's like a poor man's it's a poor man's guide essentially. Um, so it just it goes up. So this the skill saw right here goes right there, and into the into the hole, and um, and so you just wherever 
this line is right here is where the cut's gonna go. So you might you make your marks. For this case, it was 23 and a half inches, and then you'll get you're good to go. Actually, it's a pretty simple little concept. It makes a lot of sense. I wish I had table saw, but I don't. So this is this is what I'm gonna do to to, to get it to work right. Oh, and I put it upside down too uh, to get some of the fraying of the actual blade itself. Uh, it's better if it's in the opposite side of the cut too, and if if your blade isn't uh, very sharp. Pretty simple, pretty cool. See inside. I forgot if I mentioned it, but for the um, chair ra chair railing, which we got just right here. Um, this is gonna go right underneath the windowsill right there. As we can see, perfect fit right under there. But to get that to be a perfect fit, we gotta take this thing off. Um, I forgot I mentioned that already, but if I did, oh well. We're gonna take this off now. There she goes. See how huge nails they, they use for this thing? Oh, overkill, like two inches long, not bigger. Anyway, so I'll go just like that. Uh, yeah, so we got um, kind of cut away a little bit. So we're we just have the one the one wall left to do for the uh, chair railing will be done here. Um, and pretty been pretty simple. No, oh, it's a 45 degree angle right there on that corner too. And the, since this wall right here is 10 feet and the Chair railing is eight feet. We have to uh, splice it together, which I've already done over here. Go show you now. But we, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sure this is definitely not my fruit. I know it's taught this before already before me. But you can see right, right there. You just do a 45 and connect them that way. That is not like a. You can, you can, you can barely tell where it happened. And if you feel a quick look, glance over, you'll never know the difference, especially after I. I'll put some wind filler and sand, it, and sand it down too. But we'll cut it up and come back to you. And last but not least, That's it. Uh, first lesson, any uh, border nails on it, go ahead and remove it so it's not gonna stick through your foot. Luckily the uh, shoe's a little thicker than the nail. <laughs> Better than the nail. Anyway, so yeah, uh, we have a lot more work to do. Uh, pounding in all the actual nails themselves. Probably about over 100. And then of course we're gonna paint it, make it look nice and pretty. And, but I like how it looks already. And from this from this far back, you don't see how bad it actually is, but uh, we'll make it. We'll, we'll make it.
All right, so it's a couple days later. Uh, sorry, we painted it off camera, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, with the first attempt at painting it, we used the same paint that we had left over from when we did our kitchen cabinets. And if you remember that, it's um, it's we thought it was a very nice bright white color. It was called antique white. Um, when we got it in this room, it looked yellowish, and yellow on this beadboard wainscoting looked absolutely horrible. So <laughs> we had to uh, pause and, and reattempt it. So I just got some regular old uh, uh, paint from from a hardware store, and then we 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 had went ahead and did this. That we actually, since the paint we got was different than the doors, and the door itself was pretty dirty, we went ahead and just painted the doors as well. Now everything's the same color. I think it looks. I think I'm pretty. I'm actually uh, kind of surprised at how well this actually turned out with all the the wood filler and sanding and painting and everything like that. I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, again, definitely not done, done with done with the project with her room, but with the actual construction part, we're done. And you can see on the corner on the ceiling, we will be putting some uh, molding up. Uh, just not just not yet. There might be a separate probably probably, probably will be a separate video. We'll go and do that. Um, Again, these these corners here. Um, again, I'm not an expert at all, but they weren't exactly easy to do. I kind of fudged it there with the wood putty. I'm gonna go back up and uh, paint a little more purple uh, on the wall, and make it so you don't see how how bad a job I actually did on the on the corners too. But again, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Uh, any questions? Just let me know. Um, thanks for uh, stopping by at my DIY.